we were farming for 10 years and we fell into the restaurant game by the opportunity to buy our first restaurant called The Cove up in Waipu Cove. So it was a big change in our lifestyle. But Lloyd being Lloyd and never afraid to give anything a go, he thought this could be a really good opportunity for us as a couple. And that's how we sort of fell into it. And I went from being an interior designer to shearing sheep, literally. But after doing it for eight years, we bought the cove and we transformed it. And that ends up transforming our lives. x -ray. thank you very much. Mike and I have been together since 2005. We own four restaurants in Northland, The Key, The Cove, The June, and Number 8, trying to really create a gate to plate experience for people who dine in Northland. I think it's really important that we have one person who kind of leads things, which is me with the restaurants, because that's my background. But of course, it's half his money, so I'm going to listen to what he says. Being 10 years on a farm with the wind in my face, I kind of thought, how can I be of use to the business but retain some of that freedom outside the restaurant? So hence I set up the Veggie Shack. We grow all the vegetables for our restaurants, plus all the herbs. Every day, Michael picks them and they're on the plate that night. You can't beat that, you know. It's hard work and it's sometimes difficult, but we ensure the best gate to plate experience we can. We grow a really good range of produce, and I do deliveries Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I do the Whangarei Farmers Market every Saturday. We've got some beautiful uh, spinach this week, lots of yummy spinach. There's a symmetry between what we grow and what ends up on people's plates. We know how it's been grown, we know that it's all spray free, and we know that we're contributing to people's healthy lifestyles. Uh, these are five dollars, buddy. Thank you, they're the last of our potatoes for the season. We love the community, we love the people. We try and employ as many locals as we can. In the summer, we employ up to 160 people. In the winter, it can be as low as 80. I think the biggest challenge of staffing is ramping up for seasonality and ramping down for seasonality. Okay, chicken wings, do you talk? Good staff is everything. We couldn't expand without the staff, and the staff have taken on their role and fulfilled it beautifully always. It's easy for me to monitor staff up here because yeah, I'll be up here, yeah. but it's down there. Cool, okay. Their speed to grow has been pretty ambitious, and they've done it really well. They've got the right people around them, they've got the right management team around them. 22% from Auckland. I help support them to grow and I help them with funding, figuring out what the next step is and how we put it together for them. We have plans to open another one down in the Bay of Plenty, hopefully, which is opening in November this year. After that, who knows? I think Lloyd just opens them because he likes opening them. That's the fluff around it, you know, <laughs> doing the architecture and putting it all together. And then once it's done and everything's running smoothly, it gets a little bit sort of restless and so it's time to open another one. But hopefully in five years' time it will just be <laughs> just me the five. <laughs> and then and then that's it. <laughs>